The second Lebanon war. It was sparked by a Hezbollah ambush on two IDF jeeps on patrol in northern Israel, which killed three Israeli soldiers and saw two reservists taken hostage. The ensuing war was marked by an onslaught of rockets and missiles from Lebanon. Israel's goal became to destroy the rocket launchers. The price was heavy. 119 Israeli soldiers fell fighting Hezbollah in southern Lebanon, and over 800 Lebanese were killed, including Hezbollah operatives. Thirteen years later, Hezbollah has rebuilt its rocket launchers and expanded its weapons arsenal to an estimated 100,000 missiles. The weapons themselves have also improved. Yes, we do have in Lebanon precision missiles and in enough numbers to be able to change the balance of power in the face of the region. Hezbollah has become a strong military power, moving far beyond its guerrilla roots, establishing a role even in the Lebanese parliament. Israel and Hezbollah haven't had an outright military confrontation in over a decade, but have exchanged blows in Syria and even on the Israel-Lebanon border. Most recently, Israel conducted a tunnel-busting operation dubbed Operation Northern Shield. The aim of our operation is to expose each and every of those tunnels that cross into Israel and to make sure that Hezbollah will not have the ability to implement their offensive plan to attack Israel, a plan that they call conquering the Galilee. Now the two sides continue exchanging wars of words, but the fighting has expanded for Israel's northern front to not only Lebanon, but Lebanon and Syria, where with the help of the Iranian regime, Hezbollah has managed to establish a military foothold.